Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. I have been paying attention to 97% of this House Judiciary Committee markup on HR 1808, the assault weapon ban. It's been going on since 10 a.m. I have given up far too many hours waiting for the inevitable. Uh, so I figured I'd come on, just give you a quick update so that you are in the know, tell you about something comical that happened and uh, get you back to your, your evening. So uh, first off, Thomas Massey, um, Chip Roy, a couple others are doing a hell of a job poking holes in all of the Democrats' propaganda, doing great jobs at it. Um, the other side, you hear the same bullshit, the same sob stories, the same, we have to do something, think of the children. Um, You've had a couple uh, of the members of the committee in the House call into question the constitutionality of it based off of the text history and tradition, which there was no bans of rifles back then. Uh, so other than the mind numbing amendment after amendment after amendment attempt, and then moving to strike the last word, if you're watching it, you, you know what I'm talking about. There was one little bit, uh, one little uh, comical part uh, and that's when uh, David Hogg got kicked out of the room. He got up uh, as um, the Highland Park mayor was uh, was testifying remotely. Hogg said something out of his crazy, stupid mouth, and he got removed. Um, but it's it's just been the typical anti-gun rhetoric nonstop since 10 a.m. I don't even know what time it is right now. Let me see. It's after 6 p.m. So, like, I... I I'm going to go back and watch it because that's what I do, but I, I can't stand it anymore. So I needed to come out here and just vent a little bit. So I hope you can understand. Um, another good thing, Chip Roy, because uh, the, the Democrats, the anti-gunners want to say, well, you've taken X amount of dollars from the NRA. One good thing was Chip Roy got up and, and read how many members of that committee, the House Judiciary Committee on the Democrat side, have taken money from every town for gun safety and mom's demand action and the Brady campaign. It was pretty cool. Uh, it was one of those good attaboy gotchas. Um, but just know that it will absolutely pass this committee. The House Judiciary Committee is a, a very strong anti-gun majority there. It's going to go to the floor, and they're hoping to get it done next week. They want it done by the end of the month. It's more than likely going to pass the House. They've passed everything coming out of the House. The test, like I've said before, is going to be in the Senate. We're still... Uh, burning up phone lines in the Senate, and you guys and gals should be as well. We can stop it in the Senate. We absolutely can stop this bill in the Senate. But when it's time to get activated, I, I am going to have a video in which I'm going to direct people to a number or two, a couple of different phone numbers or a couple of different offices. Until that happens, get a hold of your U.S. representative, your U.S. senator. I'll have links down below and in the pinned comment how you can do it. I'll have the phone number as well for the switchboard. Now I'm going to go back and watch this and probably drool a little on myself and rock back and forth in my chair. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. This is why I do this, is to give you guys and gals the information on the Second Amendment, no matter when it happens, good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, no matter where it happens. And I only do it if you guys and gals watch. So help the channel continue to grow by hitting the subscribe button down below. And uh, remember, regardless of whatever propaganda is, is being regurgitated, be safe and stay vigilant and always carry your gun to keep you, yourself, your friends, your family, your community safe. That's what it's for. Who cares what the penguin Jerry Nadler thinks? All right. Wish me luck. Take care.